Hello, and welcome to Footnotes. As per the usual, I'm here to recap the most ravishing ideas from around Wired. First up today, caffeine, the only drug you can make at work unless you work in a meth lab, in which case it's one of two drugs you can make. Wired Business reported on a new service called Labdoor that tests energy drinks to see if they contain dangerous ingredients like chemicals that give you giraffe legs. The caffeine in these energy drinks is actually extremely toxic if you happen to be an insect, which is fine because you're gross and nobody wants you around anyway. This is because caffeine evolved in plants as a pesticide that causes insects to get really chatty and go to the potty a lot. Legend has it that humans discovered the wonders of coffee in the 15th century when a goat herd in Yemen noticed that his animals were acting like idiots after eating the plant's berries. On the other hand, we started drinking tea over 10,000 years ago in China, though goats were not involved in its discovery because they were only invented in the 13th century. And if for some reason you're wondering if spiders enjoy caffeine like humans do, you're not alone. Strangely, NASA once set out to test drugs on the arachnids, and while on caffeine, the spiders wove ridiculous webs. But on LSD, the webs were almost normal, which means that someone needed to get those spiders some more acid. Next up, Mickey Mouse. Friend? Role model? Murderer? GameLife reported on Disney shutting down the studio that developed the game series Epic Mickey, which means you'll just have to pretend to be Mickey like the rest of us by getting a job at Disneyland. So Walt Disney created Mickey in 1928, basing him on a previous character called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. You see, Walt had lost the rights to Oswald when he left Universal Studios, and that isn't very lucky at all. Interestingly, 80 years later, no joke, Disney traded sportscaster Al Michaels to Universal to regain the rights to Oswald in the biggest metaphorical middle finger ever given to a human being. So after the split with Universal in 1928, Disney created a Mickey Mouse short called Plain Crazy, in which Mickey tears off a turkey's butt and attaches it to a plane, then milks a cow that's holding on to the back of said plane, and finally creeps out Minnie Mouse so much that she decides to leap from the aircraft. But this would not be the first official Mickey Mouse release. That, famously, was Steamboat Willie. The issue with Steamboat Willie is that compared to Plain Crazy, it's plain not crazy. Mickey plays a goose like a bagpipe or some silly crap, and that's a problem. It's the bland Mickey we've known for almost a century. And as Charles Bukowski once noted, his popularity should horrify us. He's cute, sure, but also stupid and vacuous, and teaches our children absolutely nothing, except how to kill bugs. Not with caffeine, but with murder. Sweet, delicious murder.